Assalamualaikum and very good day to everyone. Alright, so we continue from the last uh, video, uh, first law of thermodynamics. Alright, so basically the last video I have uh, I have speak on the part two, and today is uh, part two B, where we will discuss on energy balance in a closed system so before this we have discussed on the closed system condition whereby uh, we discuss on the work boundary you know, uh, so here is a combination of energy in a closed system all right so energy balance for a closed system so basically from first law of thermodynamics we can return that we can write energy in minus energy out is equivalent to change in energy within the system so basically energy in uh, either by heat work or by mass uh, is being defined here either is in the system or out the system is being defined okay so basically the energy uh, in the system is the change in whether in internal energy or uh, kinetic energy potential energy and also any other energy that we that is relevant uh, for example uh, chemical energy uh, electric energy so we can define its uh, total energy if we consider that energy is within our uh, problem to be solved okay so basically total energy so we can rearrange we define what is your energy the equation is either in and key uh, heat in q in or your work in or your mass mass empty ta in and also minus your total energy out and equivalent to the change in energy in the system internal energy kinetic energy and potential energy so for a closed system so basically there is no mass flow within it so we can take out the mass so the energy balance can be written as something like this so we have taken out the mass so it's only uh, heat in uh, work in heat out work out and uh, change in internal energy change in kinetic energy change in potential energy so if we consider something like these pictures these figures here we have a closed system so basically if we consider the upper part here is a piston so it can move in and out depend on the on the system condition and this is the closed no heat uh, sorry no mass flow in flow out but we consider in closed system we have energy can be transferred in and also energy can be transferred out so your mass within the closed system is constant because no mass flow in and no mass flow out so throughout the the problem or throughout the calculation the m the mass we assume to be constant so as we have rearranged the equation you have uh, heat in q in and q out minus q out plus work in minus work out is equivalent to your uh, internet energy plus kinetic energy and change in potential energy so the sign conventional basically if we assume heat is within the system move into the system we assume is in positive direction whereas if the heat being dissipated from the system or 
losses from the system so we assume it is in negative direction so this assumption is depend on the uh, problem itself if you consider if let's say you want you want it the heat losses or the heat uh, dissipate from the system if you assume is positive because you want to know that is the potential or that is the the true energy you want to uh, to define it first you may assume is in positive direction but the q in you must uh, assume it to be in negative direction same with work either your work within the system in the system you have negative also you can if let's say for example in this is system it produce a work which the piston here move up and down and it move a works work boundary you can assume this work out to be positive and also it's true you can assume it's negative also but if you assume that your work out is positive your work in must be in negative so and vice versa if your assume work in is positive your work out will be negative so this is depend on the direction the sign conventional the direction of the energy in or out can be defined by you but you must differentiate either it within the system or it's out of the system all right so basically the clue for sign convention is the desired or the required energy is positive what is to be defined if you want to define the output is more desirable so you can put it your output will be positive whereas your input will be negative so it depends on the problem itself so we look into example sample problem 3.11 sample problem 3.11 a rigid tank contains a hot fluid that is cooled while being stirred by a pedal wheel initially the inter internal energy of the fluid is 800 kilojoule during the cooling process the fluid loss losses 500 kilojoule of heat and the pedal wheel does 100 kilojoule of work on the fluid determine the final internal energy of the fluid all right so sample problem 3.11 so basically here this problem is for energy balance in a closed system so you must draw the diagram so basically some, something like this is a closed system so we have a fluid and then we have a pedal so the pedal will start and then the work given for the pedal is work 100 kilojoule and also the fluid loss 500 500 kilojoule of heat all right and then the internal energy initial so initial u1 is equal to 800 kilojoule okay so this is the uh, given uh, data uh, for the example so okay for energy balance of a closed system we must recognize the flow of the energy either the is in or out or is uh, is a 
internal energy inside the system so we must differentiate and put a sign which is for something like this the internal energy you want is consider initial so basically is a uh, you want lah so 800 kilojoule initially initially you want we define and work pedal the pedal is within the system so basically uh, the work is in the system so we recognize as work as a uh, work in so is a work in plus inside the system so 100 kilojoule and the heat Q is a work in so, sorry the, the heat we define as a losses so basically losses is out of the system so we call it as a Q out normally we take a, a negative sign something like that means this is out this is in the system so Q out is sorry 500 kilojoule okay so general equation so general equation Okay, so we have Q in minus Q out plus total work. So work in minus work out is equivalent to change in internal energy plus change in potential energy plus change in kinetic energy kinetic energy all right so as in the system there is no potential energy we take out and also there is no movement inside the closed system so we take out the kin kinetic energy and then there is no work out uh, from the fluid so basically the work out also we take out and heat being supplied towards the uh, system also we don't have so we take out Q in okay so the left out will be your uh, negative Q out Q out okay plus work in is equivalent to change in internal energy Okay, so basically your Q out 500 kilojoule or in plus 100 kilojoule change in uh, internal energy U2 minus U1 U1 is 800 kilojoule so U2 kilojoule. Okay. All right. Thank you. Sample problem 3.12. Sample problem 3.12. A piston cylinder device contains 25 gram of saturated water vapor, water vapor that is maintained at a constant pressure of 300 kPa. A resistant heater within the cylinder is turned on and passes a current of 0.2 ampere for 5 minutes from a 120 volt source. At the same time, heat loss of 3.7 kilojoule occurs. So, show that for a closed system, the boundary work, WB, and the change in internal energy in the first law relation can be combined into one term for a 
constant pressure process determine the final temperature of the steam okay 3.12 we have a piston cylinder device okay so contain water 25 gram so this is your piston okay and pressure so given P1 300 kPa Alright, and the water mass, mass of the water, 25 gram. Okay, and also we have a resistant heater. Alright, so given the ampere, the M is 0.2 amp, and also the voltage is 120 volt for time is 5 minutes all right heat loss q out is equivalent to 3.7 kilojoule okay so from this year we are dealing with steam Right, so we should wish firstly we should know where it is located within the uh, steam table because as we know in the steam table okay so this is your pressure line something like this PV diagram okay so either one okay so we can check at this steam table table firstly we check at 200 k uh, sorry 300 300 kpa okay all right so at 300 kpa using uh, table A5 300 kPa so uh, the location is within the saturated line so this is your P sat so this is your point saturated water okay this is your line so from here we can also know the uh, temperature alright so saturated liquid saturated vapor so the location is at here lah. saturated vapor ok so the first question will be the boundary work show for a closed system uh, the boundary work so given in general equation general equation okay so q in minus q out plus your work in minus work out is equivalent to change in internal energy plus kinetic energy plus potential energy change sorry okay from this equation above you can see that there is no potential energy we take out kinetic energy also we take out okay and okay we have internal energy within the system okay and also uh, from here also uh, the heat is lost so q heat in also is uh, not mentioned so we take out 
Q in so basically we have uh, negative Q out plus work in minus work out change in and energy okay so we have uh, work so basically this is your heat loss Q out okay so uh, heating element supplying the workload so work in okay and also the piston is your work out okay so work in is your uh, heating element so what uh, from electrical so you can know that uh, voltage volt volt times ampere okay so here we got unit watt okay so work out is a uh, it's a constant pressure it's constant pressure so you have p v2 minus v1 okay all right so substitute into your general equation so you got q out okay uh, plus work in work electric go in minus p v2 minus v1 change in u okay so q out plus work in p v2 plus p v1 u2 minus u1 okay so split range so work in minus q out change so you got uh, p v2 uh, minus p v1 plus u2 minus u1 okay so as the enthalpy h u plus p v okay so rearrange work in q out is equal to p v 2 plus u 2 minus p v 1 plus u 1 okay so this is your h 2 this is your h enthalpy okay all right so we move on into the uh, okay so uh, the electrical work work out work electrical got <coughs> v volt times ampere okay so unit is what what is kilojoule per second okay so as others is in units kilojoule so uh, we need to convert it into the uh, 
okay so we can change this unit uh, in the general equation okay for time being we use uh, volt 120 volt times ampere 0.2 m so you got what okay all right <clears throat> okay so uh, in this gen uh, general equation in okay so or in minus q out okay so we're in minus q out h2 h2 minus h1 Sorry, this is your work in. Okay. All right. <coughs> uh -huh. So work in we have defined. So the uh, work out, Q out, also is given directly. So we need to define H two and H one. Okay. So. Uh, H1 so H1 is we're using uh, P saturated at 300 kPa saturated with saturated vapor okay and so from here we can check the ta check tables uh, check table a5 steam tables okay so 300 kpa so it's about from the table we can find ja, ja, ja. find the table so we have to seven to five point three kilojoule per kg okay so this is your h1 h2 okay we need to define okay so rearrange the the the, the equation to define what is your h2 Okay, so basically here is in kilojoule per kg. So uh, you need to convert okay kilojoule per kg H2 is equivalent to work in. You got here, let's say you have A here, A kilojoule per second q out sorry minus q out is 3.7 kilojoule minus h1 plus h1 h1 is uh, 2725 point three kilojoule per kg okay so the unit here is not the same so the same is only by kilojoule so you need to convert so here we we here we need to uh, take take out the kg by uh, times the mass so mass here has been defined 25 gram so basically is a uh, 25 0 0.025 kg ok 
okay times h h2 kilojoule per kg so you can take out square to a kilojoule per second so here we need time because we want to move your move, take out your second so given directly is a uh, five minutes so five times 60 second okay uh, minus so you can take out 3.7 kilo joule plus 27 to 5.3 kilo joule per kg times 0 0.025 kg okay so your answer will be kilo joule you got h2 okay all right so the question is to determine the final temperature of the steam okay so h2 is kilojoule if you want to convert into uh, kilo kilojoule per kg also can so either So, if you want, uh, and also we have P pressure is at 300 kPa. So, you need to convert if you want to uh, look into the table, steam table. So, you have a kilojoule per kg unit. So, you need to times, times with mass, yeah, divided by mass. So from this, we have one, we have two. So we can uh, look into table where, where is the location. From here, we can define what is your uh, temperature. Temperature, T. Degree Celsius. Okay. Right. Thank you. Sample problem three point thirteen. Sample problem three point one three. A rigid tank is divided into two equal parts by partition. Initially, one side of the tank contains five kgs of water. 5 kilos kg of water at 200 kPa and 25 degrees Celsius and the other side is evacuated meaning it's empty the partition is then removed and the water expand into the entire tank the water is allowed to exchange heat with its surroundings until the temperature in the tank returns to the initial value of 25 degrees Celsius. So the question is determine the volume of the tank, the final pressure, and the heat transfer for this process. 3.13. Okay, so we have a tank and we have the partition. So, given directly the mass 5 kg, the uh, and then pressure 200 kPa and temperature T 25 degrees C. Okay, stay on. Okay, all right. So, and then the partition is removed. Okay. So, the volume of the tank. So, firstly, determine the V1. So, V1 
from this equation we know that we are dealing with uh, water so it's a water inside the tank so we can refer to steam table right so at p 200 kpa and temperature is at 25 degrees c so by looking at the steam table it located at the compressed liquid so so we take only the uh, temperature so by using the temperature t 25 degrees celsius okay and we can determine the uh, v1 at meter cube per kg so v1 is v1 divided by mass given 5 kg so we got meter cube per kg sorry v1 meter cube per kg times mass 5 kg so we can take is meter cube so as the rigid tank divided equally so v2 is 2 v1 so from here you can get the v2 okay so that is the volume okay so the final pressure B final pressure all right so from here at state V2 V2 we got meter cube okay so if you want to refer to steam table we need to convert into the uh, V2 so you must divide it by uh, mass 5 kg okay so this is your meter cube so you got your answer is in uh, meter cube per kg and then from here we can refer to a uh, steam table okay so at this uh, value okay you must know uh, from here the 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 the, the answer should shoot around 0 0.002 Zero zero six meter cube per kg. Okay. So at the first twenty five degree C uh, temperature temperature twenty five degree C we got ranging from one point zero point sorry. 0 0.00 0 from steam table at 25 degree C so V1 saturated water saturated liquid is 0 0.00103 so VF VG saturated vapor 
is 43.34 so as here somewhere within this two value so we can know that it's still in uh, liquid vapor region so basically within this uh, region so at at t 25 t sat sorry t sat at 25 degree c so your p sat okay kpa Alright. Okay, so that is the final pressure. C. Heat transfer process. So, here we are dealing with some uh, we don't have any uh, work. So, we define the general equation so q in minus q out plus work in minus work out is equal to data change in kinetic uh, internal energy change in kinetic energy plus change in potential energy Okay, alright. So we don't have in potential kinetic change in internal energy and internal energy. We have that value because in the vessel normally internal energy will involve okay no work and no work involved within the system in the region and also heat. Uh, exchange to from the question is exchange to the surrounding either you want to differentiate Q in or Q out you want to assume it goes to surrounding is out you can take out take out you can take Q out Q in you can move out but you have a negative sign but if you are assuming your uh, heat to the surrounding definition is Q in so you can take out Q out so depend on your assumption either it's in or out to define the sign so here if you want to have a positive sign so we take out Q out okay because only one heat uh, available uh, it's not available but uh, acting on the rigid tank only one heat is acting on the rigid tank so we define it as a Q in so we have only Q in is change in internal energy ok so we have U2 minus U1 ok alright so from here we can define from tables state one state one u one so u one is at uh saturated u f at 25 degrees Celsius directly you can uh, find it in the steam tables and U2 you must interpolate it using the uh, specific volume so from the specific volume So, uh, V1 
vfg vg vf okay so here vg vf 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 at 0 0.001 003 vg c sorry v2 it's not v. vg vg is 43.34 okay v2 is 0 uh, V2, V2 is from your V2 here 0 0.02 0 0.002006 so units is all kilojoule per kg and U ok so somewhere within the mixture uh, so uf and ug so you have u2 okay so u u f from the tables 0.4.83 u UG you can find from tables so from U2 U2 minus UF per UG minus UF is equal to uh, v, V2 minus VF per VG minus VF so U2 kilojoule per kg sorry kilojoule per kg so we need to interpolate using pendek per panjang pendek per panjang okay Alright, thank you.